Welcome back to another Lions and Tigers video. This week we're going to be talking about stock. And this week the owners decided that they were going to issue some stock. The company is going to be privately held. Each of the owners will have a 20% interest. At least that's the original idea. So in the discussion board we've been talking about all the steps that Lions and Tigers would need to do to become incorporated and issue stock. Let's continue that discussion there. Secondly, on April 1st, they issued 4,000 shares of stock to the existing partners. Now, we're not going to worry about that. Just know that they did. Let's go ahead and get started with the first entry. And in the first entry, they... So on 415, they sell Uncle Joe 500 shares for $300 a share. So we're going to debit cash. And we're going to debit cash for 1,500. And we just got that by taking the 300 share or the uh, three dollars times the 500 shares. Okay. Now the common stock, remember, it has a two dollar par, so we have to take the two dollar par. So we have to take the two dollar par times the 500 shares. And that's going to give us a thousand dollars. And then we're going to have additional paid in capital. And that's just going to be that dollar. You can either uh, just plug it here or you can take a dollar times 500, whichever is easier for you. And then we're going to go through the same process. Now on April 30th, it looks like we issued the remaining 500 shares to Tiffany's Cairo for uh, $10 per share. So we're going to debit cash for $10 times 500 or $5,000. Once again, we have to record that common stock at par. So we're going to have 2 times 500, which is 1,000. So it's the same amount that Uncle Joe's common stock was for. But now we're going to have additional paid in capital of 4,000 because there was a bigger gap, there was uh, $8 times 500 between the additional paid in capital and the par value. Okay, So remember, we have to record it at par always. On May 15th, we declare a dividend of a dollar per share. So we're going to debit retained earnings, and that's 5,000 shares times a dollar for 5000 then we're going to credit dividends payable for that 5000 now we're going to have several entries to do with this dividend it says that it will be paid to stockholders of record on May 30th now we have no entry there because that's just when we make a list of who owns stock okay the next entry is actually going to be when we pay that dividend, and that's going to be on June 30th. We're going to debit dividends payable for 5000 and we're going to credit cash for 5000 Remember, we're just writing the check. This is a cash dividend. Okay. On July 4th, the company purchases 300 shares of stock from Jason. So Jason decides he doesn't want to have all of his stock, so he's going to sell some of it back. 300 shares at $12 a share, that's going to be 3,600. We call this treasury stock because it's stock that the company is going to be holding. Now treasury stock, remember we talked about this, treasury stock does not get paid a dividend. Treasury stock is not considered part of their outstanding stock. Okay, so we use the cost method. So we record treasury stock at what we paid for it. Now the company turns around on July 5th and they issue the treasury stock to Nicholas, Camille, and Tiffany for a dollar a share. So we have 300 shares at a dollar or three hundred dollars. I'm going to skip a line here because we have to get rid of the treasury stock but remember we have to get rid of that treasury stock at what we paid for it 
So we paid 3,600. Now, if I had additional paid in capital from treasury stock, that's what I would debit. But this is my first treasury stock transaction, so those accounts, I don't have anything in that account. So I'm going to take my retained earnings account. Because really, that's what I'm doing is I'm taking some of the income from the company and I'm using that to issue the treasury stock. And as we do the homework, I think this will become a little more clear. I just wanted to give you a basic overview. And let me know if you have questions.